Hi there guys, back with another Vidvember video for you. It's day 14 today and I'm going to have two tools to allow you to track if your emails have been opened and read by the receipt at the other end. So we're looking at two tools today. Um, one of them is called Streak, that's streak.com and the other one is gmas, gmas.co. So if I jump into my inbox here to make sure I'm recording this, so I'll jump in my inbox and I'll just show you how Streak looks. Uh, inside. So we have streak.com. It is a full-blown CRS solution. So it's basically like a task tracking um, sales tool inside your Gmail account. It's pretty powerful. I don't use any of the features. I did initially play around with them. Um, but one of the main ones I use is the tracking. So when you open up an email to send like this, click on this little squares here and there's a little option with the eye. You turn tracking on. Your emails have to be in HTML so make sure they're not set here as plain text mode. If there's no tick, then it's HTML. And you turn it on, it then allows you to track the email that gets sent out. You can see when it's opened, the location and device that it was on. So it's a very good tool. It allows you to track everything. You can go and view emails later on, you can open them and it'll show you when they've been opened again and if they get opened again and again. It also has other features on here like a snoozing email. If email comes in, you can snooze it, which is quite good. If you're getting like, emails at the weekend, you can snooze them for a day so they come back in your inbox on Monday. Um, things like that. It's got lots of other tools with it. But the main thing is the tracking and the scheduling. So you can actually schedule when you wanted an email go out. If you click send later, here you can see you can send something by a custom date or time or even like their pre-selected ones like in an hour, two hours or tomorrow. So that's Streak. Really good tool for tracking. The next one is gmas.co. Gmas is pretty much like a full-blown email service. So you can put in things like um, you know first name and last name. You could put in different variables for event dates, and you can track loads of stuff. It's a really cool tool. If uh, there is a limit on Gmail, how many emails you can send out, Gmail could probably reach that because you can use it as like a bulk email tool to email out people. Um, inside Gmail, what you do is you go in here. You'll see this little tiny. Um, Link, red link here and I've got some at the top as well so click on GMAS oh, sorry click on the arrow and you can see here I can open track opens and clicks that's my tracking that's what I use and um, they also have a schedule selection so you can schedule certain um, days when you want your email to be sent out you, or you can choose a custom day it's quite good for scheduling if you had to, wanted to remind an employee of something or a colleague or something like on at nine o'clock on a Monday but you're worried about e emailing them at night time they might miss the email that's where scheduling works really well or you might find another use for it, but the tracking for me is perfect. GMAS provides a little label or a little folder inside Gmail, which is called GMAS Reports. In there, I can go and see when the email was opened, if it was opened, and what device and location they're on. So very cool. If you ever have that worry or that doubt in your head, was your email received? Did it get opened? Pick one of these tools. They're both great. They'll be able to track your emails that you send out, and you won't have that worry anymore. So enjoy them. This is Vidvember. Please share this on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll be back soon with another video.